Hi, this is Zara for Kiss and Makeup with the lovely Abby, a crafty crafty and hippie shopper. Hello. And joined by Carly, our artist supremo in the office. Hello. <laughs> Today we're here with the henna pen. Now Carly can actually tell you about the origins of henna. Yes, I can. Um, it originally came from uh, Middle East, India and Northern Africa. Um, they used to have the crushed leaves or mud, which is version, and they would put it on their feet and their hands because it actually has a, a cooling effect. So when it was really, really hot, they'd have a lot of it on there. Um, but obviously that's not very attractive because once the mud comes off, their hands were just a blob of brown. So what they started to do, especially with women, is decorate around the blob so that it became a pattern. And from that they became more and more intricate. And then they basically involved it into their culture where they would use it on brides and celebrations for births and, th and things like that. So it's okay. cool. Well now, rather than it in a complicated way, we have a henna pen. It's a bit like a double-ended felt tip with a larger end and a smaller end. And we're going to show you how easy it is to do henna decorations at home. Now we're going to start with me, and I'm basically pretty rubbish at art. So I'm going to just sort of doodle on my arm so you can kind of see how it goes. It's sort of like do little swirls here and there. It's quite a fine tip, isn't it? And then it kind of goes on a dark brown. We've got about four different colours, so you can experiment more. And I don't sort of want to end up looking too much like an idiot, so I'm going to do something really basic. That's and then cool. nice there you go. Really good. pass you over to Abby. He's already got one on which she did earlier. So I've already got this little bracelet design here. I'm going to add a few details to it. Now I just got this from a Google search. If you go to Google Images, look up header designs. There's, there's absolutely thousands you can copy from there. You can either draw them onto a piece of paper or print them out and then just transfer it to your skin which is really very easily done with this pen. Well that looks stunning and as you can see here Abby's also had a glow on her stomach which is very brave but looks gorgeous. Now we're moving on to Carly, our, our in-house artist. I'm not that great, I'm not that great. <laughs> um, I, I did a different method. Um, if you're going to be quite delicate or you want to go for a specific design and you're worried about making a mistake because you can't rub it out unfortunately, um, use a stencil. If you draw, I sketched out a design I liked, so I then cut it out so that I had the stencil and I literally <laughs> taped it to my skin. But you can use something that's um, completely adhesive all through the back which will hold the paper down better. As you can see here, I use a frog. Um, it's my logo at the moment. I use frogs and everything. Mm -hmm. um, I I suggest um, if you use a bit of makeup, like a, uh, a dark powder, but don't use a lot. If you just br brush over your stencil, you'll have an outline automatically on there. But don't put too much on there because if you do, the henna will stick to the makeup and not your arm. But it does prevent the whole, you know, getting the frog's fingers stuck together when you try and draw it out. Um, so yeah, that's my little tip when you, you're trying to try and do it yourself. Are you going to show us something? Go on then. Yeah, you might want to make sure that you are using the right tip because if you are using the heavier one, you'll tend to be over the lines that you wanted. Um, I find that sometimes it's, it's nicer to go for with a more plain pattern because if you've got a plainer pattern, it, you'll have more prominent lines and it won't look so messy. Um, but I do find that, personally, I prefer them a bit more delicate, I don't know about other people. It's, it's a personal pre preference, really, personal even. Um, just like when you walk in and get a tattoo. If someone walks in and gets a tattoo for a, a, a dolphin, for instance, some people may love that, but personally, I mean, I wouldn't go for a dolphin. Um, I'd probably go for something a little bit more intricate. Maybe, like this, I'll go for an actual object that's can be added to. So once you've done a little bit of a pattern like this, you can start off like that and then change it. The pen retails really cheaply and it's a nice way to practice at home as well as a sort of crafty hobby to take up. 